Hi, this is Alice. And this is Chang. And our project is called Hydro Terrain. So one of the main goals in the implementation of this paper is to create an automatic terrain generation system based upon real principles of hydrology. This need is relevant as terrain is a huge factor in many movies and games. Um, the result of our project is an automatic terrain generation system that implements the core concepts of the paper. And the features include procedural generation of river networks, given a user-defined contour, um, user-defined height maps for river slope values and expansion directions, procedural terrain generation based on the river network, and also interactive feedback that adjusts according to changing parameters. Um, our original paper was called Terrain Generation Using Procedural Models Based on Hydrology by the following authors, Genovo, Galen, Guerin, Vitali, and Baines. This paper was shown off in SIGGRAPH 2013. The river network generation portion, which I was responsible for, features um, recursive expansion of selected nodes from a pool of candidate nodes. Also, the expansion height and direction um, is based on lightness and gradient values of the user-defined river slope map. The node selection is based on index priority or horton strollers number, which is a um, mathematical system that calculates the complexity of river branching. And also, the river network is generated via a grammar-like rewriting system with a probabilistic approach for the different river junction types. After uh, we get nodes from uh, the river network, I take those input points and put them into a Voronoi diagram in order to do the polygon reconstruction. Unfortunately, the Voronoi diagram returns uh, only the edges and points, and I had to sort them in order to generate a viable polygon. Um, I could not use a 3D Voronoi diagram because that would result in a blob shape. Therefore, the heights had to be manually added back in for initial points, and the generated edges of the Voronoi diagram had their heights influenced by the nearest initial points. Uh, one other major issue is that the Voronoi diagram was not constrained, meaning some edges went to infinity and literally had no output value. To solve this, I had to do polygon clipping, which I managed to find a library on the internet to help me with this. The user flow is pretty straightforward. Um, the artist would create a river contour via Maya's native CV curve tool. They would then access the hydro terrain drop down menu and create a hydro terrain node where you can input um, a river slope image map, where that is responsible for the node height and expansion direction. When that's done, um, we again go to the drop-down menu and simply create the river network. And as you can see here, the elevation of the nodes correspond to the image map that we just saw. Um, here, I'm demonstrating the interactive property of the tool. As you can see, when the contour is resized, the nodes are recalculated. So this enables artists to kind of play around and try out different contour shapes to see which river network suits them best. An interesting property in the paper that was implemented here is that the lower the elevation um, a node has, the more river networks um, are generated from it, which makes sense because um, the lower uh, the elevation of a node, um, the more the more water gravity pulls down, um, and as water naturally flows downward, it makes sense that there's there's more water um, traveling towards that point. So here we have another example. This is the wireframe view. The clipper library was used to constrain to the contour. One downside was that the library returned values in ints and longs, so some accuracy is lost. The river structures were a simple extrusion once I had my data structure for edges completed. Unfortunately, the carving could not work as Maya would literally take the two inputs and cause them to disappear, but ideally the rivers would carve their way through the terrain.